Hey there, Penguins fans. Hope you're all staying safe out there. This is Nick Carr coming to you from my house. We have Penguins defenseman Kevin Churchman back at his house right now, too, back at Isolation Station. You've got a great setup back there, Churchy. I see some pucks, a sick Lake Sup sweater in the background. It seems like uh, at least you're, you're handling this isolation pretty well. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I mean, uh, I mean, <laughs> as best as I think everyone else out there, uh, a lot of Netflix, a lot of reading, a lot of yard work, a little early for that, but that's where we're at. Hey, sometimes getting ahead on that yard work uh, pays dividends later on in the summer too. So I guess it's never too early to get some work done, right? Absolutely. Yeah. There you go. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, where are you right now? I know uh, Port Elgin, Ontario is home. Is that where you're sort of bunkered down right now as well? Yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, this is the house I grew up in. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's bizarre being here. And uh, this early in the, I guess the, we should be making a playoff push right now, but uh, you know, that's just the way it is right now. And it's, it's for the best and it's for uh, the safety of the world. And uh, I think it's, it's good to spend time with my mom and that's maybe a blessing in disguise here, but uh, definitely wish I was back on the ice. Oh, yeah, I think everybody wishes we were all at the, the rink, you know, in that cold air, you know, at this time of year when it's heating up outside, it's always, that's when, you know, hockey's at its special stage. But, you know, unfortunately, everybody has to sort of, you know, do the right thing, stay safe for the time being, because uh, this has hit us all over the place. It's a global Absolutely. thing right now. And I yeah. mean, you're, you're back up north, back across the border. Give us a little uh, ge geography lesson. Where exactly is uh, Port Elgin? Um. It's about three hours west of, uh, um, sorry, Toronto. So it's on like, it's on Lake Huron, on the shores oh, of Lake okay. Huron. And uh, yeah, there's a big nuclear power plant here called Bruce Power. And that's pretty much most of the employment in this area. And uh, it's about two and a half hours north of Detroit. So it's kind of pretty much situated in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, convenient. The, what it's a what you say it's a nuclear power plant town that's the the main local yeah. economy it's like springfield and the simpsons there you go there you go <laughs> Port Elgin isotopes yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's awesome well i know a lot of people especially during this time are asking pro athletes how they're staying in shape because you know at, at any time you could get that call like hey we're starting things up again you can't afford to just sit on the couch and sloth so what's been your strategy to stay in shape during all this yeah, it's been a lot of a lot of body weight exercises and a lot of I got some fortunately I got some dumbbells here and stuff like that, a little equipment. But uh no, it's I got a we got programs from Mike Joyce, our strength trainer, so he helps us out really well and they're challenging. They might be they might be harder than they are during the season. So <laughs> definitely uh we're definitely keeping in shape. Um yeah, this you gotta be creative. You gotta be <laughs> you gotta be innovative. So that's where we're at right now. I like that you said, too, that it might even be harder than the workouts he gives in season. Mike Joyce isn't giving you guys any sort of breaks during quarantine or anything like that. And you said you have to get creative, too, with these, these programs that he sent you guys. This isn't just your standard, I guess, uh, push-ups and sit-ups, right? No, it's uh, – I don't know. Some of these exercises, I don't know who thinks of them, but they're, they, definitely, <laughs> they definitely work out parts of your body you didn't even know you had muscles in. So uh, – it's cool. He, uh, he keeps it interesting. He mixes it up. It's not never the same stuff over and over and over. Um, you know, he, he does an, an unbelievable job with it during the season and during this time. So uh, we're fortunate to have him. And yeah, it's, it's funny. I have just about every piece of recovery equipment, like through the season. So I have the foam rollers, all that stuff, but I don't have the actual workout stuff like what we have at the rinks and that. So it's, it's definitely a balance. You got, <laughs> I'm tilted more in the recovery like right. I get sector right now. So, you know, I got to build up my gym, home gym here a little bit. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I might have to give Mike Joyce a call too. Maybe he can throw some workouts my <laughs> way too so that I don't get pudgy during the isolation. We got Kevin go. Churchman. Yeah, we got Kevin Churchman with us here during this little uh, virtual visit during this time of isolation and the suspension of the current American Hockey League season. Kevin, uh, before we actually started this interview, we asked some fan questions on social media. We asked the fans to sort of uh, – throw us a couple of cues so that you could give them A's. Does that sound good to you if we uh, go to some fan questions right now? Yeah, no problem. All right, let's get after it then. Uh, this one came to us from Jeff on Facebook, and he wanted to know, Kevin, what's your favorite barn to play in, the best arena, or at least your favorite arena that, that you've gotten to play in, and why? In the AHL or NHL? 
uh, you know what? Let's leave it open ended. Let's you know just what's what's been your favorite. Um, well, I love playing like I obviously I love playing against the Toronto Marlies because I have a lot of family in that area. So seeing them and you know I can go back to college days. There's some unbelievable ones like Miami Ohio was such a cool atmosphere. And then uh, in the AHL, I think Hershey. I don't know why, but I love playing in Hershey. <laughs> I love that day trip. It's just it's just the right amount of time to get there, and you. I don't know. I just feel like it's just a great barn to play in. It's always a good atmosphere, and it's it's nice being the villain every now and then. Yeah, it doesn't hurt that you always seem to show up in those games against Hershey, too. You uh, <laughs> racked up quite a few points against the Bears in your Penguins tenure, too, so that might play a role. Maybe that's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go on to another question now. This one comes to us from Hope, and she wants to know, what is your pre-game routine? I know you haven't been able to stay in that routine with no games for the time being, but What's your system, your order of operations on a game day? Uh, I like doing my own, like, warm-up in private, I guess. Not private, but whatever. I like specific thing because I had that shoulder surgery a couple years back, so I get that nice and warmed up. Uh, not a soccer guy. don't really play soccer. Okay. I, I go every now and then, but, yeah, I'm not really superstitious or anything. You know, I just kind of, like, I like to keep it loose. You know, have a coffee, talk with the guys. You know, it's – it's not like a set thing where I have to do this, do this, do this, touch that three times, jump over there four times. Like it's, it's fine. Like, I don't know. Cause I feel like when you, when you get in that rhythm, I guess of needing that. And if you don't do that, then you're more mental, mental effect than it is positive. But yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, no specific routines for me, I guess. Yeah. There's that you get too much into a rhythm. Once that rhythm's broken, you're going to be all out of whack anyway. And you've just thrown your brain in a blender in the first place. So you just try and keep it loose, keep it light. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely. Yeah. There you all go. Right. Yeah. So one more question. I said before that we threw these out on, on social media to try and get some, some fan interaction, some fan questions and don't look now churchy, but sliding into the fan questions is none other than chef Steve. Comes over the top, and he, he wants to know, of course, hey, Churchy, how are you? But he wants to know, what have you been eating during isolation, and are you keeping it healthy? Absolutely, yeah. That's awesome. What a good question. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, he'd be, <laughs> he'd be proud of me. I uh, We do this Hello Fresh. I don't know if you know what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of it. Yeah, they, like, yeah. deliver. Yeah. Yeah, so me and my mom have been doing that. We, we got a couple weeks' supply of that. Um, exact same smoothie every single morning um what kind of smoothie so i go berries banana hemp hemp seeds i think hemp okay curry, whatever they're called oh uh oatmeal uh what else i throw in there some stomach like sport greens bio steel okay almond milk and ready to go yeah can't beat bio steel drink the pink <laughs> yeah as long as i stay away from the chips i'll be all good that's that's all it takes. You got to stay. My, away from that's my kryptonite, I think. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. what's the flavor of choice? Do you like all plain, or do you go for the Canadian delicacies of the ketchup or the all dressed? Yeah. No, I don't go ketchup. Yeah, I, it's Miss Vicky's. Definitely Miss. You know those. Do you guys have those there? The yeah. Yes, the I'm. Thing. I am well aware, and they are a bit of a kryptonite to me too. Yeah. One of those ones you go into like buy a sandwich in a store, and then they have all the chips laid out, and then you grab one or maybe yeah. two on a good day. <laughs> exact same. Yeah. Yeah, you can't resist. Yeah. Well, all right, Churchy. I hope uh, maybe you can treat yourself to a few chips here and there during this isolation, but I'm sure uh, Chef Steve is happy to hear that you're keeping it healthy for the most part during this time, and all the fans out there are happy to see that you're at least holding up during these, these strange, strange times. Stay safe out there, buddy, and thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me. Really appreciate it. No problem, Nick. Thanks for having me.